Hi everyone, um, I thought it would be a good idea to do a video on uh, the numerous ways that you can tune the uh, FDM Duo. Uh, as you know, I got this unit because um, I wanted a radio that I could use as a sort of traditional standalone receiver, but yet had full SDR capability and it was really between this and the uh, CR1A, which I don't really consider to have a full-blown SDR capability. Um, so really this was the option and it worked it has worked out really well and um, as you've seen on my videos i do use it as a standalone receiver but what i found is in the month that i've owned it um even when i use it as a standalone receiver to take advantage of the really good audio now that i have it plugged into this sony speaker system um i still control it from the computer um, because there are so many options um to change frequency um so I thought I would just run through the ways that you can tune this radio. Um, so the first is using the, the unit itself and by pressing down the uh, tuning knob, a cursor appears in the frequency display um, and then you can literally change frequency um, by turning the tuning knob itself and then you can scroll the cursor across the display to uh, change the frequency, to set an exact frequency. Click the tuning knob again and it's set. A quick click of the tuning knob and you can change the tuning steps and it, this radio tunes from one hertz all the way to I think it's 12 and a half kilohertz yeah so uh, you know it's very flexible to, to tune even on its own um, so there we are 13 580 we're still on um, Romania um, but as I said I tend to use the computer to tune this because there are far more options for um, moving up and down frequencies very quickly um, uh, and so this is the FDM SW2 software. Um, to start with, you have these three bars. So we're on 13,580 kilohertz, and here is a bar that allows you to change frequency all the way from 160 meters down to 11 meters. It's very coarse. Um, just by clicking the mouse, and you can literally slide up and down. Um, you know, and we're literally moving. You, know, you can move megahertz in seconds. Um, so it's very good for very coarse tuning if you want to go from one end of the shortwave spectrum to the other. Um, then the bar above it is still coarse, but slightly less so. Um, it's in 500 kilohertz graduations. So as you can see, I'm moving it and the frequency is still changing. Tens of kilohertz changing in seconds. So let's see how close we can get back to 580. And then the bar above that is five kilohertz steps. And so it's, much finer um, and you can tune very quickly um, and you can get reasonably close actually so here I am I can use this to get to within 40 I think I had it to within about 40 there you go for, to within 42 Hertz of 13 580 um, the other thing you can do of course is that you can literally you can point your mouse cursor at a signal and you can just click it so do that and we've dropped sort of 10 kilohertz roughly um, click it back and we're back at 13580 and um, the other thing you can do is with the cursor in the in the spectrum window if, if you turn the mouse wheel you can uh, go up and down in frequency that way as well and one click of the mouse is a, is a well, it's, it's, this is set up for a uh, 100 hertz per, per click of the mouse wheel. So that's quite a nice way of fine tuning. But of course, if you want to go to within, um, if you want to go to within sort of, you know, a few hertz, then um, the other option is, I'll just close this advanced tuning option, is to actually just set the frequency. So if you hold your mouse cursor in the frequency box, click it, and then if I just type 13 580 000 and then hit enter, then it's on exactly 13580. Now, Romania have just shut down. So what I'll do is if I click here, which is 13570, um, we're, we're there within 9 hertz, which for our purposes is, um, is close enough. This is actually Iran. Um, so click again, and then 13570, 000. And, we're, and, then, and so we're now exactly uh, on frequency. And then zoom in a little bit and have a look. And it's actually, to me, that looks slightly off. Um, just slightly. 
So 13, 5, 17, 18. Um, looks a bit closer. So you can, again, so I can tune with the mouse wheel. So when I'm actually looking for, when I'm actually tuning through the bands, I quite often use the mouse wheel to get the signal, as, you know, pretty close. Um, zoom in and out. And then, um, and then the, the most accurate way of tuning is if you double click this box here, then you get an option of tuning frequency um, kind of dialog box that right comes up. And this you can tune to within single hertz by, so you literally hold your mouse cursor over, the digit changes the color to red, turn your mouse key up and down, and you can change from, from with a resolution of single hertz. So if I zoom in on this signal from Iran, you can see that I'm moving single hertz and the signal's displacing. And so you can tune very accurately using this method. Um, and that's the beauty of having an SDR. I mean, and you know, using the receiver um, without a spectrum, um, you're tuning largely by ear. Um, and you know, maybe my hearing is not as good as other people's, but for me to have this option where you can tune down to a resolution of one hertz and look at the signal, of course, you know, it means that you know your tuning is always going to be on point. And so here we are controlling controlling the uh, radio with the computer, and I'm still using the uh, audio output from the unit itself. So uh, you get the best of both worlds, basically. Um, so I don't know, so there, there you go, there's about at least half a dozen ways to um, to tune this radio. Um, and, uh, you know, that's the beauty of it, really. You know, you do get the best of both worlds. So I thought I'd share that with you. Um, thanks for watching.